What's up guys? So today we're gonna do cache. Cache is a really cool problem because we learn how to do module operator, which is a very important uh, operator in programming. So how does it work? Let's say I have 31 cents. What is the minimum amount of coins I can get 31 cents? So uh, obviously we would want to start with the largest, so 25. Uh, so 125, 15, and 11. One. Uh, so if you think about it, we go from the largest from the smallest. And that's basically it. So the way we're gonna do this is that we're gonna try to get an amount of cents. Remember that this is a decimal, so 0.75 cents is a decimal number, so we use float. Uh, but we don't want to uh, deal with decimal points, uh, decimal numbers, so that's why we'll multiply it by 100. So instead of dealing with 0.75 dollars, we'll deal with 75 cents, which is 0.75 times 100. So let's take a look at the code for that. So as long if it's if it's less than zero, the amount of cents, I'll keep on looping. So that's why I have a do while. So why do I use a do while and not a, a while loop? Because I want it to run at least once. So we get the amount of cents, let's say 0.25, and multiply that by 100. So let's put a breakpoint here. A breakpoint is a great way for us to see what's going on. So I'll say cache and let's say I have 0.25. So the uh oh I didn't say debug 50. So debug 50 cache. Okay, so now it should work. So he'll ask me how many cents I want. I'll put 75. So right now, if you look, it gives me all the variables in my, the debugger gives me all the variables. We're interested in cents. So in dollars right now is 0.75, but we don't want to deal with 0.75 cents. As 0.75 dollars, we want to deal with 75 cents. So we'll multiply by 100 and float numbers they're not very precise so th that's why we round them so it, it's more precise so if we step now cents become 75 and since it's positive we're going to continue our code let's actually put a break so so now how do we deal with the rest so we have 75 cents how many 25s I have in 75 cents? Uh, we know it's three. Uh, but we could do this just by subtracting 25, 25, 25, and increasing the count, count 25 by one. But a better way is to divide by 70, by 25. So if I do 20, instead of subtracting in a loop, if I do 75 divided by 25, that gives me three. That gives me three. So that's exactly the amount of coins that I need. The amount of 25 coins I need. What if it was 26? So 26 is three coins of 25 and one of one. Well, it's still the same thing. So since we in C divisions remove the decimal point, that's an integer division. 76 divided by 25, it's three points something, but the point something disappears. So it's still three, which is the correct answer because we have three. And if we do 76 minus 25, which is three times 25, we have one remaining. Another way of getting the remainder is to use module. So module, if you remember, so from grade school, the three would be under the 25 and what we have remaining is the one so if we want to get the three we just divide but if we want to get the one the remainder we do 76 module 25 which gives us the remainder what remains from the division uh, is module so this is the same as saying that 76 equals 25 times three 